Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here, and this is my review of Fear the Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 14. So, right off the bat, we got Daniel Salazar back in this episode. We hadn't seen him, I believe, since Episode 10. That was the episode that was Morgan and Grace-centric, and Daniel had a, a sort of a bit role in that episode where he was like, Morgan, why are you smiling? And that, that was a scene that, that had a bit of a... Uh, a car a, it carried on into this episode a little bit where where Daniel tells Grace about how Morgan was smiling when Grace says that she feel like she didn't help Morgan and Daniel's like yeah well you did help him he was smiling like an idiot um, when I was with him after he was with you so yeah I'm, I'm a big Daniel Salazar fan for most of you that for those of you that don't know He's definitely one of my favorite characters, probably my top three favorite characters in Fear the Walking Dead. As far as Fear the Walking Dead goes, he's definitely in my top three favorites, possibly tied with Troy Otto. But, yeah, he's awesome. It was great to have him in this episode. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that he doesn't leave or die. We have two more episodes, so two more episodes for him to leave or die. And if he doesn't leave or die, then I'm guessing he's going to be in season six which is awesome. I mean, have we ever had two seasons straight of Daniel? I don't think we have. So that, that'd be pretty cool. We're, we're getting close. But either way, we're, we, we've been getting a decent amount of him. I was a little bit worried that he would just be in, in the two episodes in the first half, then leave and just be gone. It seemed like maybe that was what they were going with at the start, but no, he, he came back, so that was good. And we learn a little bit more about Virginia and the settlers in this episode. Morgan and Althea, they come across this guy that's running from them, and he's worried about his sister. And I, I guess we never saw the guy's sister. I guess the guy's sister is still out there or something. But Morgan and Althea, they run into this guy, and he's running from the settlers. The settlers are trying to kill him. And we, we, we learn a little bit more about how the settlers are ruthless, but they're still they're building for a better future. And Althea, Althea thinks that they might be connected to the helicopter people. She thinks that they might be connected to the, the girl that she kind of had feelings for, and she was wanting to see her again and, and find out what she was up to. And she goes after them. She, she goes inside the settlers compound place and and so does Morgan because Morgan wants to help her and this is an episode where Morgan gets some character development and he he's he's kind of facing the the loss of of his wife and son and he's he's getting to that point where he's he's ready to he, I mean he'll always remember them you know he'll always remember Jenny and Dwayne, is that their names? He'll always remember them, but, but maybe this is the time where he can start over and start a new life and, and maybe be with Grace or have, have a romance with Grace for as long as, as Grace has left before she dies. Um, and I called that. I made a video just a few days ago about whether or not Morgan would um, you know, face what happened to his wife and son and, and accept it and be ready to move on and possibly start a new family or at least have a new romance with, with, a, with a, a new woman. And I called it. That's exactly what happens. This is the episode where Morgan finally is willing to move on and, and have a romance with Grace. He's ready to move on from his family and, and have a romance with Grace. But it seems that, that Grace got sick again just like in episode 10 where she passed out, fainted, whatever, and she wasn't sure why. But this the same thing happens, happens in this episode. She gets sick again, and she's sweating, and she just seems weak and ill. So it, we might be losing Grace. I don't know. It's, it's, still, it's still not confirmed that, that Grace is dying from the radiation she was exposed to, or if it's possibly something else. But it, does, it doesn't look good for her right now. She looked pretty sick. Um, but she, she's still like holding on to hope. Daniel was wanting her to hold on to hope, and she's like, "Okay, I'll, I'll be optimistic," because both Grace and Daniel they they used to be realists, and they always wanted to do the logical, realistic thing. But they're both trying to be open-minded right now. So even though Grace is really sick right now, she's trying to be open-minded and she's trying to hang in there. So I don't know if, if Morgan's going to reunite with her and she's going to die five minutes later. I don't know if she's going to die before Morgan gets to her. 
I mean, I don't know if I'd like that because that's just a repeat of Daniel and Ophelia if she dies right before he gets there, blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, Morgan, Morgan's been unhappy enough in this show. I feel like at least let him kiss her or something. Like, give Morgan something. I don't know if, if Grace is going to die and maybe Morgan will have a romance with something with someone else. Because even if Grace dies, there's still that part where Morgan was willing to have a romance with her. You know, he was willing to, to move on. So maybe Grace dies and Morgan meets someone else somewhere down the line in the show. I don't know. Maybe Grace lives. And, and Morgan and Grace are a couple, and, and they kiss, and they sleep together, and, and they're happy for a while. And then Morgan, di or not Morgan, Grace dies from the radiation in season six or season seven. I don't know. Maybe Grace dies next episode. Maybe Grace dies in the finale. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping they would at least kiss or something. They, they, they would at least have that dramatic goodbye where, where Morgan's like, you know, I, I do, I do want to be with you, you know. Um, and they, they have that dramatic moment. I feel like they just, I want that for those characters. They, like, they've, they've suffered enough. At least have them have their dramatic goodbye and have them kiss once. But I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get that or not. But there's a chance. There's a chance she could live a, a while longer. There's a chance she could be dying in the next five minutes. So we'll just have to see what, what's happening with Grace and Morgan next episode and whether or not they get to reunite. But... Morgan and Althea, they get captured at the, the Settlers com compound in Virginia. She, sp she explains a little bit more about herself. And the video I made about her, I called her Virginia. And then I saw where everyone was calling her Jenny. So I was like, uh, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not sure. Was I wrong about that? And I figured it was just like the shortened version of her name. Like that was her nickname. And that's confirmed in, in this episode because she says, My name is Virginia, but everyone calls me Jenny. And I really like her. As far as villains go, I've, I've already really liked her. This is only her second episode, and I really like her. I like the actress's performance. I like her personality. I, I like... Uh, I, she, she just seems like a, a good, capable villain that's, that's kind of charming, but has no problem killing people. And that's interesting. She, 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 just, she seems interesting. So I hope, I hope we get a lot of her next season, and she's not just a throw, throwaway villain in the next couple of episodes, but... We'll have to see. I really hope she carries on into season six because she's just been introduced and she's a cool bad guy. So I hope we get her next season. But she explains a little bit more about them and she, she explains that you no, know, everyone's alive but Logan and we just killed Logan. So she wants Morgan and Althea to join them, but obviously they don't want to join them because she's willing to kill people. And. They end up leaving, Morgan and Althea are allowed to go free. <laughs> the villains in this season, they never want to kill, the, like the villains in this show, they never want to kill the good guys, like the vultures. The vultures always wanted to be complicated, they didn't want to actually kill the good guys. Martha, she, you know, she wanted to kill everyone but Morgan, I guess. You know, Logan, he didn't want to kill anyone. Um, Jenny, she doesn't really want to kill anyone, she just kills Logan. The, the villains are all, they're almost always like anti-heroes, like they're always like morally gray characters. It's a good thing the Fear the Walking Dead characters don't have to deal with the stuff in The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead characters, bless their hearts, they always have to deal with people that are just wanting to kill, kill, kill them. Negan, kill, kill, kill. You know, the governor, kill, kill, kill. Um, you know, the cannibals, Terminus, kill, kill, kill. In Fear the Walking Dead, it's always like these morally gray characters that are always like just, oh, I, I want to kill you, but not quite yet. Like Martha and the Vultures and Logan and Ginny. Uh, I guess they, they're they just luckier than the Walking Dead characters. <laughs> but, yeah, overall, I enjoyed this episode. I'm glad that we got a, we got a healthy dose of Daniel Salazar. I, I always love me some Daniel Salazar. I was glad that, that we got him. Oh, and Morgan's stick got fixed, so... That's pretty cool. <laughs> the bad guy, on, the main bad guy, fixes Morgan's stick. Which, that, I just think that's funny. Like, that's gonna cause them problems, that you fix the good guy's stick, which makes it easier for him to defeat you later on in the, ser in the show. You fix his stick, and that's gonna, like, bite you in the ass, because he's gonna use that to de defeat the bad guys, you know? <laughs> Whatever. But... Overall, I enjoyed this episode. I thought it was pretty good. I'm looking forward to the next two episodes. I hope they are good. Overall, this season has been average. It's it's just been mediocre. It's had good parts and bad parts. You know, both good and bad. Not a terrible season. Um, 
I think the back half was definitely an improvement over the first half. The first half was pretty bad. <laughs> Just the kids and the, and, the, and the filler and the radiation and Alicia getting sick. No, not really. Oh, maybe. We're not, we're, we're not going to tell you. <laughs> um, the, ver the, the back half has definitely been better. It's def it was definitely an improvement over the first half of the season. And overall, I thought this was an okay episode. It had some pretty cool moments in it. And I'm looking forward to the, the last two episodes of the season. But yeah, that's pretty much my review. So with all that said, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day. So please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 600 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 700 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 700. Anyway, with all that said, I'm Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!